Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our Laravel 9 e-commerce series. So now guys, uh, as we have seen in previous video, we have fetched the products of its category. So that part only we are going to convert in live wire. Okay. So we have done in normal blade.php file, right? So what I want to do, I want to keep all this code into a live wire format. So why we are doing this? Because we want to do a filter option. Okay like filtering the uh, products according to the price brand and colors etc okay so guys now let's get started so first step guys as simple let's open our terminal and now create a live wire component okay so php artisan make colon live wire front end folder forward slash i want to go to products folder and inside that index page okay hit enter okay so component created guys and this is your class and this is the view so let's move first to the component of class front end and this is your products index page perfect so here we are so now guys uh, let me close this terminal let's move to this page okay at this live wire blade let's go here okay and here what we have to do we will be copying the products code so let's get back to our products normal our products page this page okay we are cutting that page Control x the whole code okay Control x and just get back to your live wire blade okay and paste there let's use one row and paste let me just minimize all the codes over here perfect all set guys and now you can get back to your main product the our products page and here you have to set up a live wire so let's tell live wire and end this okay so now guys add just colon over here and you need to link the path so what path you are going and copying here copy this front end product index and just paste that that's it guys and now let's move to this component so if you go it will take you to blade but it's not the correct guys but you have to move here at this component you have to move to this component okay so first step what we have to do we have to carry all the variables like we are using uh, the product right so here you see we are using the products variable and the category variable okay from this blade so what you need to do you just need to pass here like products equal to inside double quotes you are passing that products variable so products okay so same way guys you are going for the category 2 so category is equal to dollar category so where this variable is coming from it's coming from your normal front end controller okay so this is your products and this is your category so let's move at this blade and here you reach and then you are sending that products and the category so now you are sending this product and category at this component so let's go to this component which is index.php of your live wire let me just show you that path so it's the app http live wire front end product index.php all set and inside this on the so function mount 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 when the page loads we need the variables one is products comma and your category so guys make sure you are giving the correct spelling whatever you are taking here i mean this products and this category you have to get here as simple guys and now you take this and store in one data so let's tell dollar this of products is equal to take this and assign here so now guys let us copy and paste again let's paste here and this too 
so to work this product and this category dollar this of category you need to assign here so public dollar product and your category that's it all set guys and now we need to fetch in this blade okay live wire blade where here you are looping the products right so that we have to send here the data so for that you can just use an array and send the products so what is the variable we are sending one is products let's copy this products and from where are you getting this getting from this variable dollar products okay you are storing here and this data you will get it dollar this of products i mean dollar this of products comma copy and paste and the second is for category let's take this dollar this of category and here the second variable which was is about the category here you paste all set so now guys let's see the output okay it should be the same cool so you see guys no changes and everything works fine as same let me change to mobile here you get mobile we have another category laptop category so which works on okay no products available and let's get back to men cool so guys we have successfully converted the product list in a live wire component okay so now guys in next video we'll be seeing about how to do a filter option like at this place we'll be setting a filter where you can select according to the brand and many more things okay so in this video that's it guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share